Okay, short PLC video here. Just wanted to show you what to look for if your uh, serial programming port is not working in when you configure a, D, a RS-232 DF1. So this is the controller I'm working on. <clears throat> and I have the, the serial cable I detailed in my other video. It's 1761, I think. 1761-CBL-PM02. All right. So I'm connected here to a USB converter. And what I want to show you is it's showing up here. I have a completely blank program. You can see here's my blank program. And Lynx is picking up both the actual IP of this device and the uh, the serial port because I'm connected both ways. So what I wanted to show you was what happens if this isn't working and the only thing you have is, is the Ethernet IP address. So <clears throat> where you can go is this channel configuration. And if you right click it and do an open, channel zero is this port. Channel two is this port. This is the programming port if it's set up for DF1. So <clears throat> back in here, channel configuration, channel zero, DF1 full duplex. Now if I choose Modbus, maybe I'm talking to something with Modbus, and I've got some settings like this. I hit apply. Look, it's going to tell you channel zero will be lost. Okay, apply. Ah, it wants me to be offline. That's weird. Whatever. It gives me some warnings, but look at Now that, <clears throat> sorry, the 1400 here is now gone. It, this is the same PLC, but now it's no longer here on the DF1 connection on COM3. Well, if I go back, go back to channel zero and choose DF1 full duplex again, Warning, loss of communications on channel zero will occur. Apply. Okay. And look, it's back. <clears throat> so if you log into, uh, if you're on links and you configure DF1, like I did here, um, and I hit auto configure and it, and it just worked. But if it's not working and you're talking to a micro, there's a chance you're going to have to go in over Ethernet, like this one, go to here, and here, if it's not set to DF1. You can check this offline. Let me show you. If you have the project, you can check it offline. <clears throat> so if I open this, sure, okay, no. <clears throat> this project here actually has a password on it which is another video I'm not going to do right now. But if I go in here, uh, this is the modified one. I'm sorry, guys. This one is actually set up like this. Um, in, in the actual project, this is a modified version of this project. But um, this is how Channel Zero is set up in that one. And that is why uh, this port does not work. To connect to the PLC, so you have to go through the Ethernet, which you can navigate to on the MicroLogic. So you can see the IP address, even if there's a password protection on the project, you can at least see it and connect up. <clears throat> you're going to need the program, you're going to need the, uh, what do you want to call it? You're going to need the password if you want to download, it, I think, over top, but that's a, that's a different video. That may not be true, but that's what I wanted to show you, and I hope you all have a great weekend.